Hello everyone, this is Gordon from iGuess. Well, some of you have asked how to set up the PlayStation 5 on the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step tutorial. I have deleted everything that I had for the profile. So we're going to start from the beginning. So all you need is the PlayStation right here, PlayStation 5, and it is connected to the TV right now. And we're going to go through the process on the TV and also on the Apple Vision Pro. So let's start this. And also you will need two controllers or you'll have to disconnect one because you're going to be doing remote play. So I have this controller, which is going to be connected to the Apple Vision Pro. You can see the Iron Man one right here. This will be connected to the Apple Vision Pro. So let's do the first step and which is connecting the controller to the Apple Vision Pro. So in order to do that, you're going to press the dial button on the Apple Vision Pro and go to the settings. And then you're going to go to the Bluetooth menu and you can see that the DualSense controller is showing up there. So all you have to do is just pinch it and it will be connected. If you don't know how to put the controller into the searchable mode for the Bluetooth discovery, just hold this button right here. For you, it's going to be the PlayStation button and this button. Keep holding it for a couple of seconds and it's going to get into the discovery mode. So now we have connected the controller. I'm going to get this out of the site. And let's go on the TV and enable the remote play. So as you can see right here, I'm going to go more closer to it so you guys can see. OK, so we're going to go to the settings and in the settings, we're going to head down to the system. And in the system, you will see that option right there says remote play. You're going to hit remote play and enable remote play. And then there's an option for link device. So you're going to click on it. I know this code is a little sensitive, uh, but this is only active for uh, 293 seconds remaining. So by the time you know somebody's trying to get into my remote play, this will be expired already. And also it expires when I'm going to be connected to my, um, you know, the uh, remote connection that I'm doing with the Apple Vision Pro. So that's why I'm not worried about it. But now that code is showing there. Now what you're going to do is bring up the menu on the Apple Vision Pro and you have to download this app and it is called Mirror Play. You can see right there the Mirror Play app. And once you open the app, there's going to be this menu showing up. So we're going to go to the home screen and it is asking you to register PS5. So you're going to open that and you can do with the PlayStation 4 and also with the PlayStation 5. So I have the PlayStation 5, so I'm going to tap on that it is asking for the registration number and that registration number is there on the screen so we're going to type that two four five four three five one three and i'm going to register this ps5 it is asking for some information that what firmware you should be using and all that all you have to do is just press OK. And now there is this sensitive information, which is the login information. So you can log in with your PlayStation ID. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to skip through that sensitive information where I'm putting the ID and password. OK, as you can see that on the screen, the registration was successful and the mirror play is ready to connect. I'll go through the tips and tricks for this one. Um, you don't want to do it through the Internet. You want to make sure you're using your home network to mirror because it's going to be a lot faster. So we'll do it over the internet also if you are away from home, uh, but I'll show you it gives you the two options. So you can see at the top it says enable automatic remote connection. If you're not at home, it's going to be remote connection, but if you're at home, make sure you use lo local connection. Okay, you can see on the screen now you are given two options. One is local connect, one is remote connect. So my PlayStation 5 is connected using the Ethernet connection, which is the hardwired connection. It's going to be more stable than the Wi-Fi. So Apple Vision Pro just uses the Wi-Fi, which is okay. But you want to make sure one device is at least connected hardwired. So I'm going to use the local connect option, which is the local internet, not, not local home network, not the remote connection which is you know accessing from the internet which is going to be slow and laggy 
Okay, so what you want to do is before you connect to the local connect or remote connect, you want to make sure you go back to the home screen because now we have to map this controller to the uh, to the share play or the mirror play in our case. So we're going to go to the home screen and go to that menu button up there. And you want to go to the button mapping. So tap on that. And now it's going to ask you to press because you remember we connected this controller to the Apple Vision Pro. So we're going to press the circle button. I know all the buttons where they are. So that's why I'm just going with this look, the Iron Man one, but this is circle. So press that. Now it's going to ask you to press X, which is this one. This is the square and then it's asking you to press the triangle and option button is this one and share button is right here L1, R1, you're gonna have to press all those buttons L1, R1, L2, R2 L3 is the left stick R3 is right stick this is the touchpad PlayStation button, bottom. So this kind of self-explanatory, you can just do it yourself. Are the These are all optional, so it's up to you if you wanna do it. I'm just gonna skip this one. So now the button mapping is safe and you're going to press OK on this. And now we're going to do local connect. Don't want to do the remote connect. But before we do that, we have to do resolution settings. So we're going to go in the home menu screen and we're going to go to the settings. And in the setting you have at the top is streaming. So you want to go to the streaming and you can see by default it's 540p. So you want to select the 1080p for PlayStation and PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 Pro only. And you're going to get maximum resolution of 1080p and then 60 fps for the higher fidelity for uh, higher frame rates and then you have the bit rate i'm going to keep that on auto all of that stuff will remain auto but then you're going to go down to playstation 5 has the hdr and hevc encoder so you want to make sure you enable both so you can get the hdr out of your um, you know mirror play so that's all we're going to touch and we're going to go back to the uh, home screen and on the home screen, we're going to do the local connect. It is finding console and it's testing the connection. We can see on the screen that it is requesting to connect and it is connected. So now you can use this controller and whatever you're doing here is also doing there. So it's almost lag free the way I'm seeing the response time on this right here and that let me move it to the above TV so you can see how fast it is moving. That is actually connected to the HDMI and this one is mirror play. So let me uh, do the stick movement and you can see on the screen how fast it moves. There is almost no lag and that is because it is connected via wire, local play. But if you do remote play, you're gonna have some kind of lag. But you can see how seamless it is. So this is the whole process if you want to connect your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 Pro to the Apple Vision Pro. And now I can play some games. I can also watch my TV right here and this bigger screen which you can make it really big. Like look at that. And now I can enjoy my gaming. This is actually 1080p. But when I'm looking at it, it is doing great job at upscaling and all the processing power that Apple has on the Apple Vision Pro. It actually looks like 4K, better quality. I can't tell if it is 1080p or 4K. It looks pretty incredible. Let me do a little gameplay to show you guys whether it is stuttering or not, whether we have any kind of lag or not. It is running on the 1080p, 60 frame per second. And game actually looks pretty fluid. There's no stutter whatsoever.
Yeah, so the quality is amazing, uh, 1080p, it doesn't look like 1080p because of the processing power that Apple has on the chips that are in the Apple Vision Pro. So let me know in the comment section which game you will try on PlayStation 5 using the Apple Vision Pro. That's all I have from this video. If you're liking the content, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.